So we are on our way home from a memorial for our friend Darren, who we met in Germany and instantly bonded with because that's just the kind of guy that he was. So Yeah, if you met him, you knew him, you loved him. Everybody, everybody who met this man was instantly friends, family with him. Um, and when we got to meet his family, we got to meet his parents um, and see our friend Kim, who was Darren's best friend, who we also met in Germany. Just a hard, weird day. We know why he died now. We didn't know at the time um, why. And to find out that it was from gastric complications, right? Um, something so easily fixable, treatable, manageable. Um, something that Mark has been dealing with for years. Yeah. And to have somebody that we cared about die from that is a really big punch in the gut. It's an eye opener. Um, it makes you think, and we're constantly saying, life is short, and get out and live it, and get healthy, and do better, and make good choices, but the problem is we're saying that. We are not doing it as much as we are saying it, and we need to do better. We have to do better. Yeah. Both of us. Um, I am not as healthy as I should be. Mark is not as healthy as he should be. Uh, we're trying to walk more. We walked last night. We've been walking places that we normally, you know, drive around the farm. Um, we're taking baby steps, but we need to take more proactive steps to yeah. get... We need to take bigger steps. Bigger steps. Yeah. Bigger. Bigger. Serious. Intentional, serious steps. Because, I mean, this man died at 36 years old. That's... Because you just don't know. Way too young. He died from something that was preventable. Just like me, I have something that is preventable, but I'm not making the right choices. I need to make better choices in foods that I eat, uh, amount of alcohol consumed, uh, getting into the doctor and getting things checked out on a regular basis. We're calling Monday. Monday, yeah. But it's, uh, you know, I just, I'm 45 years old. And not ready to leave this planet, <laughs> you know. Or am I ready for you to? And uh, if there's things that I can do to prevent that, have a long. They need to be done. Life, we need to do it. We all need to do better, taking care of the bodies that we're given and the life that we're gifted. Because if we don't, then they just they don't last. I always say that nobody's promised tomorrow. You're not promised tomorrow, but yeah. you can certainly do your best to get there. Yeah. Make sure you make it till tomorrow. I don't know, it's just, it was an eye-opening experience. It was a punch in the gut to find out that he passed. You know, we were making plans on, or next time he was in Charlotte, to get together. Going to San Francisco to hang out there. Going to San Francisco to hang out there. You know, just life cut too short. Make all the plans you want. Just sad that it's preventable, you know. And, uh, but we're not going to take it for granted. Not going to take it. We're going to take it for what it is. It's an eye-opening experience. It's a reminder. And we have to do something about it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a plan and stick to it. And hold each other accountable. Yeah. Not to need each but other. But you hold us accountable. You know, I mean, to get Angela's message the other day and, and Anne's and, and these, these private messages on our Instagram and, and our Facebook page just going, you know, thanks for posting these. You've encouraged me to get out and walk today. And I'm like, thanks for letting me know you're getting out to walk. That encourages me. You know, it's we can hold each other accountable. We don't have to see each other all the time and every day to be like, hey, what'd you do for yourself today? That's important. Yeah. You know? Definitely. To have that. So what are you doing for yourself today? What are you doing to make a better choice for you? Are you eating better? Are you going for a walk? You know, or are you taking time to stretch or meditate or pray? What are you doing? Comment below, I wanna know. Because maybe it's something I need to be doing.
yeah, I would love to have some suggestions on, you know, what other people are doing. Yeah, how you, you hold know, yourself accountable. It's, it's hard to come up with new ideas. Sure. Different things to do and different places you go to do it, especially right now with everything going on. It's, you know, it's like, what are you guys doing to keep yourselves healthy mentally and physically? And those both go together so well. So Yeah, they're hand in hand. I'd like to know what everybody else is doing. Have yeah, they're sticking with it. Suggestions. Yeah, yeah, we need them. We need them. And if you need them, you know, subscribe, like, comment. Let's let's get something going here. You know. Absolutely. I certainly need some motivation. more creative idea. Yeah, motivation for sure. But more creative ideas to actually do something that I can stick with. It's like a diet, right? You go on a diet, you stick with it for a minute, then you fall off the wagon. I don't. I don't want to diet. I don't want that roller coaster. I want to change our lifestyle. I want to change the way we do things. And maybe that means that, you know, when I can't sleep and I've got insomnia and I wake up at four in the morning, that's when I stretch. And I wake you up at five so we can go for a walk. Yeah. And you just do it. Well, they say it takes three weeks to make something a routine, make it a habit. So for the next three weeks, let's make sure that we get up every morning start every morning off the walk, no matter how we feel, just do it. Three weeks. Three That's weeks. the plan. Let's see if we can stick with that. Every morning. Every morning, yeah. Going for a while. What if it's raining? See, because that's what we do. Oh, it's raining. We have to get an umbrella and go anyway. Unless it's lightning. Yeah. we got to be safe. Then we but can... We can figure something out. Do jumping jacks in the living room. Yeah. We could do a workout in the house. Okay. We keep trying to find good workouts. We have a smart TV, right, with like YouTube and all that on it. So if you have a workout or a meditation or a yoga channel that you like, will you please put that in the comments? Because we can't find one that we like. Like, it's really hard. There's a lot of really dorky content out there, and I just, I can't. Maybe that's just an excuse. I don't know. But so for the next three weeks, every morning, we're going to do something positive for ourselves. Yeah. Walk, exercise, stretch. And we need to finish our day the same way. We Start need to finish and it. Finish Start and finish. Way. Okay. Okay. So if you're doing that for the next three weeks with us, will you please comment below? We'll hold you accountable. You can do the same for us. God knows. We need somebody to be like, get on it. Go do that. Did you do it? Yes, definitely. We're enablers. To work on what we're putting in our bodies. You know what you're allergic to. I'm about to go to an allergist to find out what I'm allergic to. And a friend of mine actually um, wrote a great book about her journey or the family's journey, um, discovering that her daughter was actually gluten intolerant. And she did the allergy test, and she wasn't allergic to gluten. And she she went through all of that. And they finally had to go to a naturalist to help them. And so that's what I think that we need to do is, yes, go to the doctor and yes, do the traditional medicine, but also step outside of that box and have someone really look at what our bodies need and, and also don't want to see if we can't get better, you know? Yeah. It's important. So that's, that's a great suggestion from a friend, from, from a subscriber, you know, who, who follows us. So thank you, Anne. Um, and I'll put the link to her book, actually, in the comment section of this in case any of you want to read it. It's, it's 